Hi friends, welcome to Monday Thoughts. In this video, we will talk about the chapter 16 in the book back question number 2. Let's talk about the book back question number 2. Let's talk about the question number 2. Explain the different visibility mode through pixelical representation. What is the visibility mode in C++? That is a pixelical representation. It is easy to explain. Visibility modes. An important feature of inheritance is to know which member of the base class will be occupied by the erudite class? This is done by using visibility modes. So, inheritance is the main property of the erudite class. The base class is the main member of the access. The accessibility is the main member of the erudite class. The accessibility is the main member of the erudite class. The accessibility of the base class by the erudite class is controlled by visibility modes. Derived class ayuh use perni base class lalak member lalang onde, apa dia access pandra lalang, abdi ngerda onde control pandra de onde, nampat dengen na visibility modes sa. The three visibility modes are private, protected and public. C++ lalang tiga visibility modes serikide, adu onde nampat dengen na private, protected, public. The default visibility mode is private. Default ayer ke visibility mode onde nampat dengen na private. Though the visibility modes and the access sphere looks similar. The main difference between them is access specifier controls the accessibility of members within the class whereas visibility modes control the access of the inheritance member within the class. Visibility mode and access specifier are a small difference. That is what you can see. Access specifier is that the class member can access the class member. But the visibility mode is that the class member can access the class member. The class member can access the class member. The visibility mode is the first topic. Private. Private visibility mode is the first topic. When a base class is inherited with private visibility mode, the public and the protected member of base class become private member of the derived class. If you create a derived class, you can create a derived class and you can create a private visibility mode. If you declare a private visibility mode, you can declare a private visibility mode. You can create a public member of the derived class and a private member of the derived class. That's what you can say. So here you have a base class comes here. In the base class, you can create a private visibility mode. You can create a private visibility mode. अरे मेरे पब्लिक मेंबर्स कोलर होंगे नरेय मेंबर्स लायर रखते हैं अधिक अपरा इन द बेस क्लास का बेस पन्ने डेरुड क्लास क्रिएट पन रहेंगे डेरुड क्लास क्रिएट पन रहा है बेस क्लास को उन्हें विस्पल्टी मोड में दा प्राइवेट अपने डिक्लेयर पन रहेंगे तो ये बड़ी पन्नू बच्चे तले उन्हें बेस क्लास लायर का when a base class is inherited with the protected visibility mode, the protected and the public member of the base class become protected members of the derived class. So, if you look at the base class, there are private members, protected members, public members. So, if you create a base class, you create a derived class. If you create a derived class, you create a base class with the visibility mode and protected. So, if you create a base class, you create a protected member of the base class. Derived class kau sendiri protected member am mari ro. Base class lalak public member semua sendiri derived class kau sendiri protected member am mari ro. Jadi ni derived class create pandra pada base class kau sendiri protected abdi visibility mode declare pandai dengan na base class lalak protected member semua public member semua sendiri derived class kau sendiri protected member am mari ro. So ini dah protected visibility mode. Lasta pakai pada topik kau sendiri public visibility mode. Ini base class is inherited with public visibility mode. The protected members of the base class will be inherited as protected members of the derived class and the public member of the base class will be inherited as public member of the derived class. Now, let's talk about the example. So, there is a base class, there is a private member, there is a protected member, there is a public member. So, there is a derived class created. There is a derived class created. There is a private member, there is a protected member, there is a public member. If you create a derived class, you declare the base class as public visibility mode. If you declare the base class as public visibility mode, the base class as a protected member is a derived class as a protected member. If you declare the base class as a public member, the derived class as a derived class as a public member. We have explained the three visibility modes. 
வித் பிக்சரோட எக்ஸ்பிளைன் பண்ணியாச்சு இந்த வீடியோ மூலயமா உங்களுக்கு இந்த டாபிக் நல்லா புரிஞ்சிருக்கும் அப்படின்னு நாங்கள் நம்புகிறோம் இந்த வீடியோ உங்களுக்கு பிடிச்சிருந்தால் லைக் பண்ணுங்கள் மேலும் இது மாதிரி வீடியோ பார்க்கணுமா மறக்காமல் மன்னே தாஸ் சேனலை சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணுங்கள் இந்த யூனிட்டோட முந்தைய வீடியோ லிங்க்கை வந்து டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷனில் கொடுக்குறேன் மறக்காமல் அதையும் பாருங்கள் மேலும் இந்த வீடியோ வந்து உங்கள் நண்பர்கள் மட்டும் நல்ல விரும்பியோட ஷேர் பண்ணுங்கள் தேங்க்யூ